Hi, dear friends from Eastern Pyrenees, France. Sanjelina and Dima here from Walking Edge World. Today we are starting the new three-day hiking adventure. So our plan is to do three-day circuit hikes in the area of Capsir. We don't know very well yet and haven't hiked very much, but always wanted to. So on the first day we plan to hike to the Estany and Refugee Camp Reyes. On the second day we'll get up to Puig del Pam and Lake Balmet. And on the third day we'll hike through Mont Yaret, Rock and Lake the Odd. Because the hikes are going to be circular, we plan to get down every time close to the town Les Anglais and then start the new hiking circuit the next day. As we said, it will take us three days and two nights to do, doing around 15 kilometers each day. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about this region and follow us on this hiking trip. So let's begin. So our plan for today is to hike around 17 kilometers and first get to Lake Compare and complete this circuit. We think we'll have to do 1000 meters uphill from 1500 meters to 2300 meters. So it may be a pretty challenging day because we'll have to do quite a bit of uphill and then downhill and we don't know the trail yet, how challenging it's gonna be. But yeah, anyway, we hope it's gonna be beautiful because the weather is very, very nice today, warm October weather. So we're very excited for it. We are starting off from Formigueras. There is a nice forest path, very easy level, leading us further uphill. Hiked first three kilometers following the dirt easy car roads. Now we have arrived to the parking lot, as you can see behind me, where you can actually start the circuit. Because the circuit that we found in the local trails is only starting here. So we did like three and a half kilometers extra. Because obviously we don't have a car and we had to catch a bus and it left us in Formigaris. But if you have an opportunity, you can start your circle from here. So we continue to follow the dirt roads, apparently. Now we're going along the ski trails and it's going quite a bit of uphill, but still not too steep. And as you can see, we already got very warm because we had to take off all of our warm clothes and jacket. Today is actually a very beautiful and still day with no wind. And we consider it a gift from nature. Such a nice October summer-like warm day. From here we actually start to see some wonderful mountain ranges, views, and behind me you can see one of the most important peaks in the region, in Catalan Pyrenees, which is the Peak de Canigou, which we actually recently hiked to and climbed all the way up, which was pretty epic. So yeah, if you haven't watched this video, check it out, it was incredible. We are now continue to follow the gravel route along this mountain ridge on one side with a little bit of snow and we start to see beautiful views already of the higher peaks in front of us. So yeah, we have around 450 meters up to go. So we already did half of it. And yeah, for now, an easy going trail. Today on this trail we've been meeting quite a several of crossroads like these ones which are not very obvious 
and because the trail itself is not marked really with any marks of local trails or GR marks which is pretty uncommon but with this trail it is true so it is very hard to find the right path where to follow and thus it is very important to have your map at hand always so we're using our GPS navigation as always and fortunately it saves us and now we've noticed that there are some like rock towers which are normally uh, leading you to the right path but as you can see it is ruined or something it's hard to notice sometimes so you have to really pay attention to it Now we got quite a bit of wetness on the path, started to see the snow patches as you can see and it's getting very close so we will walk on the snow today even, we'll see that. We now face the most challenging part for today we think of 300 meters of uphill and as you can see on the trail there is quite a bit of snow left so have to walk on the snow as expected. But yeah, it is only two kilometers long, so let's go for it. to have our bulgur with the salad and our dry bread which we did at home and well there is quite a lot so yeah gonna eat now <laughs> So we arrived at the lakes Gross and Mitch, as you can see behind us. The views here are pretty incredible with the snow and beautiful mountain ranges. Yeah, so we couldn't find a better spot to have lunch. <laughs> We've been enjoying it a lot. And as you probably remember, we planned to get to the Lake uh, Camparese. And now apparently we see on the map that it is on a higher level. So it's like on the mountain plateau, but higher up, where actually lead no paths, like no trails. 
but we can see that it is possible to get to like you know just following the the mountain slope but now because of the snow and you know a lot of wetness we are not going to do that because we're thinking this spot already it's pretty incredible the views are great and we see the lakes and stuff it may be a great summer plan to do we just wanted to point it out now we're getting close to the refugee camp areas and then we'll start to go down we plan to do around 500 meters down and five or seven kilometers more and then we're gonna search for the place to camp yeah, we can see here, for example, there are many potential spots to camp, flat spots, but because of the elevation, we are not willing to stay here because we still haven't got our winter equipment with us. We have our summer sleeping bags because unfortunately we ordered the winter ones and they didn't arrive. You know the Aliexpress, how it works. So yeah, we had to go with the summer bags. So we plan to do several hundred meters down and hopefully it's going to be warmer there. But today enjoying very, very nice weather. The sun is so warm. Kent pointed out enough times that in this region bivouac is allowed, which is the night stay from dusk till dawn. And also they even have like the dedicated places like this one, for example, where there is like boards or, you know, wooden stacks saying that the bivouac is allowed here. And this is like the awesome thing we think about this region that no matter where you are, you can stop there and just yeah, enjoy the beautiful places. The downhill on this side turned out to be much more difficult than was the uphill. Even though there is less meters of elevation change, but the downhill is more steep because we're coming down the valley and we need to come down all the way to the river. So yeah, this is pretty steep and long downhill of five kilometers approximately.
on this side, following the downhill, we actually follow the yellow mark, as you can see, which is really nice. Because if you remember, on the first part, there was no marking whatsoever, and this is like pretty tiring when you have to check your map all the time. So yeah, this is nice. So we arrived to refuge Yadur, our planned destination for today. The day was interesting and beautiful, not too hard trail. We enjoyed a lot going uphill because it was very gentle and there were beautiful views all the way through. It even reminded us one of the final days of Tour de Mont Blanc where we had to go through the snow, but there were spectacular views. So these are definitely some good memories and it's another time a reminder that you don't have to travel far to find those beautiful places which are very similar to, you know, the iconic ones which are very popular among tourists. So it was an incredible day. Tomorrow we'll do another hiking trip to the Puig del Palm, which is another mountain in the region. And we're very excited about it. So stay tuned for the next episode. Right now all is left for us is just to find the flat spot because we're already more or less found the spot, but we have to, you know, search a little more. And well, just cook our dinner as always and we'll get to bed. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. almost set up a tent now I can't believe how early it is like the Sun is getting down already it's like the start of October but the days are getting really really short very quickly like every other day is so much shorter than previous one and well we think it's gonna be quite cold today probably like only plus five degrees Celsius at night maybe less but <laughs> we hope not we don't have much winter clothes on us so here's our, our place and also our hack is to keep the ventilation openings closed when it is like such cold weather like it is now because there's still a lot of ventilation like from underneath here and the tent body has a lot of mesh around so it is enough we think just wanted to show you how many warm clothes we took this time because we don't have the you know warmer sleeping bags so apart from our normal fleece uh, pants we brought like another very warm like very thick ones <laughs> for me and for Dima also brought like extra uh, fleece shirts also the warm socks so we're planning to wear two socks like one normal ones and one thicker ones and yeah so there's gonna be like two pants two socks on us like four layers of fleece shirts and also like down jackets I have one and Dima has got one too this time and yeah just our summer sleeping bags really hope that that's gonna be enough but we'll see that tomorrow we'll keep you updated on that we're going to cook a mix of wheat and buckwheat today a little bit of rice we think and today we're cooking in our gas stove which is our beloved gas stove which you may see a review on our channel but yeah it is very lightweight and we love it a lot and today unfortunately we have a very unstable uh, gas container which doesn't want to stay without the rocks the rock support but this is all we could find we know that it's not the ideal one it's the smallest one they had like the store had so yeah have to cook it this way today Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed this hiking trip. If so, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more hiking adventures. Don't forget to hit the bell to stay notified about every new video. Visit our website walkingnatureworld.com to find detailed hike reports with pictures and maps. Hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you very soon!